that and cut a hole through the side of the tank near the front leg and the leak is hidden by this frame so I'm going to have to cut this frame off and because there's not much length here um, I'm going to have to rebuild that I'm going to need to cut about at least 25mm off there the leak is under this corner it's about 15mm below the end of the frame right I've got the frame cut off that's the spot well that's leaking. You can just see the crack where my fingernail is. It's about a third of the way around that spot weld. I'm going to be welding these three in this row. And I shall also weld the four in this row. And I shall sit a reinforcing plate which will sit on to my repair wells and that will stop the evaporator from getting the squeeze which is what has caused the leak in the first place and then I shall build a couple of gussets which will come down onto the steel frame down here the next thing to do now is get these spot welds welded up got it welded up now put it back on pressure test I'll be rebuilding the frame here I've got the frame rebuilt and the plate across the top that rests on my repair wells so that stops the evaporator getting squeezed which is what causes the leaks in the first place now I need to put the insulation back in and weld this stainless steel panel back in I'll be grinding these welds off smooth and polishing it that's the panel welded back in That's the job finished, all polished up. 